This is an advertisement for Timu. Introducing Timu, your one-stop shop for affordable beauty products. Are you tired of shopping around for different products on different websites? Because when it comes to beauty, Timu has everything you need at some of the best prices I've seen in a long time. Now, I've been a big fan of keratin treatments, and they've sponsored me today to show you how I do my permanent at-home keratin treatment for hair smoothing. Doing it myself saves a ton of money, and for the treatment, I'm gonna use this hair dryer from Timu. It's not as good or powerful as the $500 Dyson one, but this is such a good value because it works like any high quality hair dryer at an even better price. You know, there's always that one item that didn't cost much at all, but it totally changes the way you do things. That's how I feel about these. When I wash my face without them, I get water all up my sleeves and I get frustrated, but when I wear them, the water goes into the towel and it stays off my sleeves and makes my morning a lot happier. Because everything on Timu is so affordable, I feel comfortable to try things like this and then realize I don't really want to go without this. Try out Timu today and find things that make your life feel amazing. This is something I use all the time. It's a mirror apron, like an apron, but for the mirror. And that way, when I want to do my own trim, because yes, I like to save money and do my own hair, I'll stick this onto the mirror and then just start taking off the little split ends without making a big mess. This apron is something that's very cheap and easy to get but makes a big difference when I do this whole routine. All you have to do is visit timu.com and get 30% off using code SALE3838. Thank you to Timu for sponsoring this video and for sponsoring this next portion where I'm gonna show you how I do my at-home keratin treatment. This is a pretty serious treatment and it was expensive when I had it done in the salon for the first time. It cost me about $600 at the time and for a fraction of that price, I can do it myself and get a better result. I'll explain why in a second. First, I used the shampoo that the kit came with and got my hair clean from root to tip. You want to shampoo all over your entire head because there shouldn't be any product buildup that would block the keratin from doing its thing. Each step is really important and it's important that you do them thoroughly. So when it says to blow dry your hair, you wanna make sure that it's dry entirely. There's no dampness at all. And from this step, we're going to be keeping our hair in this state without any more washing or rinsing. So it's important to get it all the way dry before we move on to applying the actual treatment. This treatment isn't for everybody. In fact, if you don't have hair like mine, like a lot of it and it's very thick, I really don't know that it would be good for you. If you have fine hair, I don't recommend it. It's gonna take down the volume of your hair by a lot. And for me, it's great for a lot of reasons, but it's not for everybody. The treatment that I'm using doesn't have formaldehyde, but these treatments are notorious for having really harsh chemicals in them. And the one that I'm using does have harsh chemicals. So even when I'm doing this, I have a fan on to create good ventilation with a window open nearby. Just like when you dye your hair, there are fumes, so you have to do your best to avoid them. You see how my hair looks now? Now that I've blow dried it, it's really big and puffy and frizzy. This is kind of how big it gets when it gets humid outside. And even if I blow dried my hair, it'll look like that within like 10 minutes. So this keratin treatment takes me from point A to B in terms of protecting my hair from humidity. Okay, now it's game time. The keratin itself is a cream and I pour it into a little hair safe bowl and I'm using a little brush to pick up a tiny bit of the product. My hair's already been detangled and I'm going to take a little bit of the product, not the amount you would take if it was like dye. You just take a little bit and you put it near the root and then you use a comb to brush it through the hair. It really spreads, like it really travels throughout the hair quite easily. So the more you brush it, the more you realize that that tiny amount was able to cover almost all of the hair. So the keratin itself feels a little wet and you should wear gloves because it's a strong product and of course you don't want it to touch your skin. I'm using the apron as well just to protect my skin from the product and I'm gonna keep combing this through until you can tell the whole hair is sleek with the product. When my whole head has keratin in it and I have all of the product combed through, it's time to move on to the fifth step, which is blow drying the product into the hair using a brush and a blow dryer on a heat setting that is medium. I'm going to start making sure that all of it is dry again. And it's unusual because you'd think it wouldn't get dry since it looks so wet, but it does. 
and it almost feels almost as though there's nothing in your hair. Now this treatment is not something where I do it and then I say, hey look, it's so shiny and healthy and wonderful. It does look shinier and it does feel really good after I do it, but the reason why I do this is not because of what it looks like five seconds after. It's more so because this adds strength and protection to my hair. Since I like to have my hair really long and I want to grow it fuller and longer and in order to do that, I need as much protection as possible. Protection from the elements and humidity and heat styling. And even if I wasn't heat styling, this type of treatment adds a lacquer to the hair shaft that really isn't there if you don't use it. Once I started doing this treatment myself, I was much more satisfied than when I used to get it done at the salon. I had such a strong keratin treatment done that I really looked like super not myself since the hair was so sleek and so flat, and I don't like that. So when I do this treatment myself, I'm able to control how much and how intense I get the result and how far I bring the keratin up towards the root, which I try not to because I like the volume. I've never been able to grow my hair as long as I have when I start doing these treatments. So this hair really is a result of protective factors like a keratin treatment, which can add damage to the hair. If your hair is really damaged, it's not a good idea to go and bleach it again or go and dye it again or go and do a keratin treatment again. For people who like to use heat styling or have really thick hair that's very coarse and they do a lot to just keep it tame, a keratin treatment will tame the hair, seal it in, and with proper masks and regular hair care, it's going to be a protective factor, not a weakening factor and it'll help you grow really long hair. It's a resource for those who are suited to it. But again, check and look into it, do your research, because it is not for everybody. And there's a lot of people who have had absolute nightmares. Please share in the comments below if you've had one of these, a good result, a bad result, if you've done it yourself at the salon, how much you paid, everything. It can just be really helpful for everybody to see. So what I'm doing here is using a flat iron on the sections, small sections, and I'm going over it several times. That's the kind of cringy thing when you first do one of these, you think, why would you go over the same section of hair several times with a flat iron? It's totally counterintuitive. Because we have a thick layer of keratin sitting on the hair, each time that we use the flat iron across each section, it seals the keratin to the hair itself, which will last for months. So this isn't your average straightening session, it's a treatment that is being infused into the hair. Once you've finished the whole head, take down each section and work to section off each area, straightening it up to seven, eight times. I usually go over the ends more than I do the roots because I do like to preserve volume, but you do it how you like to because they will tell you to do it nine times on each section, 10 times on each section, but I kind of do it my way. The more I do this, the more I learn what I like and what I don't. Now it's going to be time to finish up the hair, of course, and then the real project begins because this keratin treatment can't be washed out for two to three days. And during that two to three day period, you shouldn't get your hair wet, which means no sweating, no swimming, and if any water happens to splash onto your hair, you should take your flat iron and re-straighten that area. Once it's infused into the hair during this flat iron process, the keratin is going to sit in the hair shaft and really start to stay there, which again will last for months and months. And that's why for two days after, three days after, it's really important that it's able to stay there and bond. And if you wash it out too early, then your results really won't show up or they'll be sub and it'll be kind of a waste of time. So it's super important to follow the aftercare as well. For an area like the front of my bangs, I really like to have a lot of volume. So when I was applying the keratin, I didn't get it right up to the root there because I like to have a little bit of coarse texture, which is perfect for giving volume. And the ends are going to be the area where I really focus the flat iron. Try to avoid washing as well as using anything that would give a little dent or a kink in your hair. So really harsh ponytails or clips that would leave a dent in your hair. It's important that the hair stays smooth for the entirety of the three days. I actually usually wait two, 
but as long as you're waiting at least 48 hours, you're good. Thank you so much for hanging out with me while I do my keratin treatment and go ahead and use my code SALE3838 to get 30% off on timu.com. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in my next video.